Pat and AJ post show video. Here we are with the 14th of March. It's a uh, Tuesday. I'm here with no hernia, and AJ's here with no grandma. Oh, bummer. We both came back from the break <laughs> without something. Without something. <laughs> we both lost something. But we're here. We are here. Um, over the break, so here's what happened. AJ went back to the motherland to attend Grandmama's funeral. I stayed back because I had hernia surgery scheduled. And in the midst of all that, um, we put our dog into doggy daycare. We did. At Four Paws Hotel and Day Resort in Grand Blanc. We did that because you're like, well, cats you can handle when you're yeah. immobilized and recovering from surgery. Um, but dogs are a whole nother creature. Well, you couldn't even bend over to like let her out to go to the bathroom. So. <gasps> but I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna, you know what? And, and I first made this argument when I was 18 years old. Because when I was 18, I, I went to college and I wanted a pet, but no way did I have enough time for a dog. Um, nor, like back then, no dogs were allowed in apartments ever. Um, I went out and got my first cat. In fact, two cats. They were brothers. Got them from the Humane Society. One of them just passed away a few years ago. And this was, I mean, 96. And there was still a pretty big stigma about guys and cats back then. Like, cats have kind of come into vogue now. Oh, yeah. Guys with cats are the best. Right, but I mean... In my opinion. But, but, but back in the day, it was very, like, man has a dog and the old lady has her cats. Um, and I, I made the pitch back then. I said, cats, for guys, honestly, are probably the best animal to have okay and i'm gonna double down on that 20 years later that cats are the best pets for guys to have and i'll tell you why because i realized not having my dog around as i just recovered from surgery that my cats care as little about me as i probably care about them we both just leave each other alone and eat. He uh, texted me when I was on the train home on Saturday. I said, hey, how are the cats being for you? Are they being good? And he said, I think they're losing fear of me because I'm immobile. Yeah. And he said, I've literally resorted to just throwing stuff yeah. at them. I mean, because <laughs> they're just like running around the house doing nothing. But it's hilarious the amount of time that is cut out of my routine when there's not a dog to deal with. Oh, I love our puppy so much, but yeah, there's a lot less to do. Like I, not there. I noticed when I wanted to go to bed, it was go to bed, not let, let the dog, let the out. dog out, let the dog back yeah. in, lock the back door. I would just turn just off the light. <laughs> That's it. Or little things like sitting around the house on an afternoon. I could do that. Without a dog longingly staring out the window because they want to go barking on a walk so bad. Howdy. Take me on a walk. Where's the walk? I'm not discouraging dog owners. No. I've, I've, I've owned dogs since I, I can remember. But if you are someone out there, especially a dude, who feels like you want a pet and maybe you feel inclined, like, well, I'm a guy, so I have to get a dog. No, Trust you know. me. Get that cat. They poop in a box. <laughs> and you only have to clean the box like once a week or a little, maybe a little bit more. It depends on how much they poop. You know those Sunday afternoons when you sit around in your underwear doing nothing on the couch? They'll sit around with you and do nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Click on our button below, feline friends, and subscribe. Oh, I'm just picturing cat paws Meow. clicking on the... See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.